Hi, this is Matt with CoolMarketingSoftware.com and this is a quick start tutorial on how to use the Global Ad Reply reverse advertising software. Now what this software does is it scrapes ads from any category on one of the most popular classified ad sites in the world and it responds to the ads. And what makes this software so possible is you're responding directly to the reply form on the site and people will see the message because they're monitoring that inbox to get responses to their ads so eyeballs will definitely be on your ads so you, you do have to be careful what you say uh, and, and really think about what you're offering people uh, but it is very powerful software because people will see your message to them now the first thing you need to do is to scrape advertiser URLs this is the first step there are two steps it's really simple to use this software and what you need to do is you need to find out what category you want to scrape ads from and there's a main category and a subcategory now if you come here we have a page which gives you all the main categories like for sale is a main category and then uh, apparel for sale is a subcategory when we look in the, under business opportunities, we've got business opportunities is the main category. And then computer down here would be a subcategory. And you can do any subcategory underneath the main category. So you come to the software. Say if we want to do business opportunities, I would do business opportunities just like that. No semicolon. The end there is on this list. No semicolon. It's just business opportunities just like that. Case sensitive. I put it in here under main category and then I say what subcategory do I want uh, let's do financial service it's got to be exact you can copy and paste or you can type it in but it has to be exact and it is case sensitive case sensitive means you know if it's a capital F it has to be a capital F if it's a small F it has to be small F here financial is capital F so here I have business opportunities financial service now if you just put the main category you get 14 every time now, I noticed people were been doing this I, it, and I, I did, couldn't figure it out but that's what's happening uh, people are just putting the main category so you need both main category and financial services and the number of pages you want to scrape there are 15 ads on each page so the maximum you can scrape per session is 300 so and you don't want to, by the way, constantly hit the same category. For example, if you're doing business opportunities, look, you got all these subcategories. Because if you just do the same one all the time, your chances are there won't be new ads and you'll just be saying, sending your message to the same people all the time. You don't want to do that because that'll annoy them and it also it won't get you any uh, a very good response if you just keep saying the same thing to the same people. So mix it up. and you, know, you can see there's a variety of categories and a variety of subcategories. There's even jobs and employment. I mean, there's a lot here to work with. So mix it up. Do different ones every time that you uh, scrape. And then maybe, you know, a month later, come back into your original one and you have all new ads. So here, I'm going to click here. I click Run. I've got the maximum number of pages to scrape, 20, and I click Run. And now what the software is going to do, it's going to find the ads. It's going to go and visit the, uh, each ad and save it into a file on the computer. You don't even need to worry about that. It does it all for you. So I'm just going to let it scrape. You, you know, it might take a little while um, as it goes and scrapes each individual page. Here now we're on page three and we're going to go all the way up to page 20. See it goes down and it scrapes all the ads so we'll have ads to post our replies to. And you can see as it scrapes ads it, it has number of URLs scraped and now we're at 120 and then it's going to do another page and then we're going to go this number is going to go up. This went to 135 and it, it can vary. You know, if there are uh, 20 pages of ads, you'll get a whole 300. Maybe there are only 15 pages of ads, so you won't get a full 300 in that category. It depends on the category, it depends on the day. It's constantly changing, so um, but you should be able to get uh, quite a few. 
each time. And then the next session, what you just start over and you do uh, another sprinkling session. But you can see it goes along pretty quickly. We're up to 180 here. And the goal is here to get up to the maximum would be 299, 300. But it does vary. So here we go. The software is done scraping add, uh, add URLs. And a little pop-up will come up when it's done. It says you have scraped 300 advertised URLs. If you'd scraped to 250, it would say 250. And then you click on the above tab to go to step two. And now we're going to go to step two. So I just click OK here. We've scraped 300 ads to respond to. Now I go to step two. Now this is the part where you're going to respond to the ads. Now they do use a CAPTCHA on here. So what you need to do is go to Tools, CAPTCHA, and I recommend Death by CAPTCHA. You can, you can use other services as well here listed, but I use Death by CAPTCHA, and you need to go and sign up for an account at uh, deathbycaptcha.com and fund it, say, with uh, $10. And then what you do is you input your username and password here, and that's it. It will show your account balance. So basically, basically you go to deathbycaptcha.com and you click create a free account and you create an account and then you log into the account. So you come up here and you click order captchas once you're logged in and you pick one of the packages you know you can get uh, five thousand or seven dollars so it comes out to about dollar thirty nine for a thousand captcha solved. I mean that is just there's the rate. It's crazy. I mean, would you solve a thousand captures for a dollar thirty-nine? So, in any case, unless you want to fill out captures yourself, which you don't, uh, you need to order the service, and then you come down here to the software, and you go to Tools and Captcha Services, Add, and you add your username and password, and that's it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. The software will automatically solve the solve the captures for you. So, all you need to do is put your name or any name you want and you could even spin you spin text to do lots of different names here so for example here um i have three names joe mark and mary and i have the spin tax spin tax allows you to rotate uh, your information every time it's submitted. So I use the spin tags here, the curly cues on each side, the pipe symbols in between, and it will rotate a different name every time. You don't have to do that. Most I don't usually do that. It's just an option you have. You could just put your name, which is probably a better way to do it. Just put your name and uh, it's, it's more straightforward. Now under your comments, that's your message. You could put your message that you want to send to the people. Now people will see this message, so really think carefully about what you put in there. I suggest having more soft sell approach, offer free information, look for joint ventures. Uh, think about what's going to interest the people you're responding to. If you just send them a bunch of spam messages, they might your response might not be good. They, you get a response, but it might not be the one you're looking for. Look for a soft approach. Think what they would be interested in. What would help them? Uh, this is definitely a dream for advertising services because pretty much everyone who posts classified ads is looking for you know better ways to advertising so that's just a hint but it's not the only way you can use this but that's up to you and your creativity in any case here you put your message in right here um, and you can use spin tax as well so you can spin several different messages you can also put your website address uh, in here and people will go and visit your website but notice that the website will not be hyperlinked when in their email client most likely so you have to ask them to copy and paste the URL of your website and to put it in their browser. Um, you don't have to. You, the, pretty, most people I find are pretty smart. I get traffic on this without doing that. I just say, please visit my website, and then they know to copy and paste and put it in their browser if it's not hyperlinked. So here I just put a sample message. You know, I thought you might be interested in a variety of free resources. Please visit my website. It's just an idea of something you can do here. Uh, I have a whole uh, spun uh, list of, of comments that I've made that I can put in here. So here I put in uh, a spun ad. I have several different ads. I have the curly cues here, and I have the pipe symbols. And 
my website. Uh, I use the goo dot gl tracking link just some things that i'm doing but hey you just put your message in here that's it it's that simple you can spin them if you want you don't have to you can include your website link you don't have to the one thing though you can't do is say uh just re respond to my email it won't work okay you have if you want them to send you an email you have to put that in the comments itself say send me an email to this email address or visit this website they can't just respond to your ad like that so you have to tell them in the body of the comments here email me at this email address if that's indeed what you want to do you could also include your phone up here that's uh, optional we wouldn't have personal contact with people you always have better success um, now proxies totally optional you don't have to have proxies all right so if you just want to go and click run you can start responding to ads right now which is what I suggest you do don't worry about the proxies right now uh, that's later if this is really working out for you you can do the proxies and in the manual I explain about the proxies uh, I'll, I'm going to show you really quickly here um, to, but again understand that this is entirely optional you don't need it uh, I only use um, private not shared proxies the only ones I find that works I will have a link for you in the description where you can get those and it's also in the manual um, Basically, what I do is I find the proxies on my computer. Here we are. And then I put the username for the proxies and the password for the proxies. That's it. And then I, I go and submit the, the responses. But you don't have to do this. Also, put the number of proxies you're using. If you're using five, using five. If you're using 10, put 10. So now I'm not using proxies. So I'm just going to click Run. And you'll get this little message. The software is preparing your campaign. Campaign will start momentarily. Just uh, it's getting getting the software ready. You can see the number of ads in the database: two hundred ninety-nine. Or we had three hundred, so it's about three hundred. And now it will start visiting the ads, and it's going to start responding to the ads. See put the name and it's gonna I didn't put the phone so it's not gonna do the phone it puts one of my ads it takes one of my ads from the spun ads then it's gonna come down to the captcha and it's gonna fill out the captcha here for us it takes a second we filled it out real quick and then the message has been forwarded to the seller and it's just gonna keep doing that so now you can see here number of ads uh, reply sent one and it's just going to keep on going replying to these ads here we go show you again put in the name and i didn't put a phone so I didn't put the phone but you can put a phone put another one of my ads in here then it's going to fill out the captcha for you there you go it filled it out real quick see it filled it out for you and then to the seller and that's it it's just going to go through and do all 300 of them and 300 people will get your message and a lot of people will see your your ad so you know really be careful what you send to people make sure it's helpful for them i definitely suggest a soft approach joint venture show a, a, a informative video Adver you maybe share some of your advertising resources some things that have been effective for you be helpful develop relationships don't just spam ads spam ads spam ads so the software is very powerful but it requires you to be a little bit creative on your end but that's how you use it and that is it this is the global ad reply software you can learn more by clicking the description in the link below if you already purchased the software look at the manual uh, I also uh, write everything out so you can look at it but this should give you a real good idea on how to use this software and once you learn how to do these two steps that's it that's it all right uh, all the best to you uh, best of luck with your marketing uh, if you like this please subscribe to our channel as well and uh, if you have any questions let us know as well too thank you so much matt coolmarketingsoftware.com